Hi everybody. The question is how I got my name. Why, where the name came from, why I picked a new name for myself. You know, did I pick a new name for myself? I guess would be the original question, but yes, I did. My birth certificate had the name Aaron Paget on it. I, of course, I changed my last name when I got married. When I got divorced, I chose a different name. At that point, it was, it was really a low point in my life. I mean, it was really low. And I had, I had not yet come back. I mean, I was at the absolute low point. And I had so little going for me <laughs> that when they asked me on that form, you know, what name I was going to use in my, after I was divorced, I, I knew immediately that I was going to change it. There was no way I was going to keep it because I felt like that whole identity that I'd had as Aaron had been taken from me. Aaron was a name that was given to me by people that I no longer felt I knew. I still, I still have a lot of compassion for Erin, and I, I, you know, she's definitely a big part of me. She's sort of the little girl that lives in me, but I needed to give myself sort of a new, a new name that I could come out with that was my own. That, because I, I knew that a big part of what I was gonna have to do was take charge of reparenting myself, and so Erin might be the little girl, but I needed a, I needed I needed there to be a a, a new grown up in charge. Erin's life, the life that Erin had built, had been stolen from her. You know, the life that Erin built for thirty some years, the friendships that she built, the business she built, the relationships she's built, she built the reputation that she built. All of it had been basically trashed and stolen and so I wanted to keep my first initial so I wanted to keep an E and because it was it was Aaron E-R-I-N and so I wanted to keep an E because you know you have like a few E things you know <laughs> whatever E items I might have had I wouldn't have to change that um so there were there are a few pieces of that I kept from um history so um my middle name was from birth Marie so I kept that and actually the the full name that I, my full legal name is Evening Marie, hyphenated. I kept Marie, and then, um, so at this point I had, I had, I had Marie, and then my, that grandfather had just died. That was another piece of it. He had just, just died that same year. And so my two sons kept Ransom as their middle names. And then um, I gave myself Ransom as my last name. And a big part of it was, too, is that, that it, uh, had this meeting and it was it was a call to my grandfather my great-grandfather who had just died and um, but also the meaning of ransom is um, redemption it's redemption and it's uh, the price to pay for one's freedom freedom from captivity and freedom from slavery freedom from imprisonment and I thought that was just poetic genius I thought that was just perfect. It was just this sort of like, it was just perfect. And it was hopeful. I had not yet, I was, I had, I guess I was being freed, but it didn't, I didn't feel very free just yet. But I, I felt like I was going to be, re, I, I needed to be redeemed. And I was, that that was what, that was what I needed to set out to do. So, so Ransom was the perfect, perfect name, last name. And it connected me with my sons. I had, um, I still didn't have the perfect first name. And so all I knew was I wanted an E. Then uh, a couple things happened. I met on a trip, I met a child with the name Morning. Something about it, when I, the minute that I met her, I just, it sort of came to me. It was like, felt like uh, childhood, you know, that was the morning. And I felt like this whole period of this, of my, of my 20s and 30s had been this period of the struggle through the hard parts of like becoming a, a grown person and, and all that stuff and I felt like I was coming into something a new phase I was preparing for a new phase and actually the name that I was choosing I also had the sense that the name I was choosing was going to be a name that I was sort of setting myself up to, to use in like a decade. Like this was, this was early 2000s. 
and I thought, and, it, which, and I was just entering into a real cocooning phase. This name that I was choosing, I knew it was going to be a name that I would, I would really use in my, when I reemerged, when I reemerged, which was going to be in like a decade, I felt. Because I, I felt like I really needed to close up shop <laughs> and just kind of go into a cocoon and examine myself, examine my life, and come to terms with who I was and what had happened and how I got here. How was a really big question. And I, I definitely have found in my life that asking the question of how is much more empowering than asking the question of why. The name Evening kind of came to me. And then I looked, I looked it up and I, you know, and, and synonyms sort of started coming to me like twilight and um, different things like that. And the best one was gloaming. The gloaming was, I think it's a Scottish term, and it sort of means that time of night when the sun goes down, but before it's completely dark, and it's, it, it means, technically it means the glow, and it's just sort of a seductive, um, romantic time when exciting things start to happen. I thought that that sounded just perfect. Um, and I thought, okay, that'll be the name to get me into my, into my 40s, you know. And so, um, you know, what I, what I, I figured that was going to be happening is that over the course of the next decade or so, I was going to be creating a new life. I was going to be creating a new life because I was starting from scratch. I mean, Aaron had pretty much been wiped out. The only parts of Aaron that were left were, were you know, she keep, would keep deep inside of her, and that, you know that, the you know her loving spirit, her love for her kids, the true story of what she'd been through. My parents chose it because they were at the time because it had to match my brother and my brother who had an Irish name an Irish name because at the time when he was born they were living back in New York and wanted to fit in with their you know Italian and Irish neighbor. They, they named him an Irish name and then so I'd have a name that matched and they never liked it. They never, they never liked, they always talked about how they didn't like our names and um, it, it, because we weren't Irish <laughs> and um, and uh, it just was kind of contrived and um, the only thing that was good is that my mother did tell me that she named me that she met a person named Erin Moriarty and that she said that that was the most beautiful person that she'd ever met. She was a patient of hers in the hospital where she worked in New York and she said she was the most beautiful person that she'd ever seen and so that was a nice story. I, I don't know if it's true or not but my mother wasn't really one to make up stories to make me feel good so I tend to think it was a, probably probably a true story. Although that name sounds familiar. The name sounds like like an actress's name or something but anyhow um, but that was a nice story so that might be kind of true. So so you know Erin's in there she's um, part of me and you know some some people still use it um, like uh, you know people that like my, my niece and nephew they kind of still use it and stuff and that's okay um, but uh, I mean there, there were very few people that made the crossover that were in Aaron's life that still exist in Evening's life and you know two of the most important ones were my kids and they call me mom so <laughs> um, you know there were very few people left that were calling me that were calling me Erin anyway so that was a pretty easy transition I also kind of claimed a few other things like uh, due date that the day I was due to be born was the 4th of July but my mother had the labor induced a little bit early so um, that she could so that we wouldn't be, so I wouldn't inconvenience everybody on the holiday and everything. So she had me induced the Friday before everyone could go on with their Fourth of July plans, and so I kind of took back the Fourth of July also as my my sign is the same and everything. But um, but for after you know once my parents no longer acknowledged my birthday, and I really didn't seem to have parents anymore, and you know they didn't, and I had some lonely quiet years. It was 
easier for me to uh, feel that my birthday was on the 4th of July because it felt like that way there was always a celebration. And so, um, so uh, I went ahead and just readopted the day that I was due to be born. So the other thing I did was um, I, I'm naturally blonde. I'm naturally blonde and I also changed my hair color to, to strawberry blonde, red. This is the first time I'd ever colored my hair. I had been so, so, such a head trip had been done on me. I'd been so beaten down that it was sort of like I needed to do whatever I could to convince myself, to give myself some confidence. It just sort of, I was, it was like I was, I was putting on sort of this armor to go out into the world and, you know, create a life for myself and, you know, a new life for myself and for my kids. I think that it was, a, it was a really empowering thing and I have no regrets about it at all. And I think that it is something that I would highly, I would highly recommend if, if, especially for those of us who are um, estranged from our families and, and, you know, carrying around names that were given to us or that we took on in marriage or whatever names have, were given to us by people that have betrayed us people that have beca became our abusers and um that don't feel any particular attachment to us they didn't they didn't, didn't come through as you know loving parents or loving husbands or whatever i don't see that there's any reason unless you're unless you really are attached to the name yourself unless you love your name and and you and it would foul things up for you for you, I mean, if you love the name, then great. But if you have, if you don't, if you feel like, if you feel like you, you never liked your name or, you know, um, and I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a, any kind of professional reason or anything like that to keep the old name. So it would have only attached me to things I didn't need to be attached to anymore. And so I haven't got to the point where I just even, just even thinking about my mother and father choosing the name for me didn't feel good anymore. It didn't feel like this, like, it didn't feel like a loving gesture anymore. It, it felt like it was reckless or careless like everything else it seemed like they had done. And so I, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to carefully, thoughtfully, lovingly choose my name. And so, so that's what I did. And I, I would recommend doing it to anybody that can. So yeah, so that's it. That's the story of my name. Thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.